When you hear the word success, what do you think of? The definition of success, the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. I've learned a lot about success when I played in the National Football League. I learned a lot about success in 20 plus years at ESPN. I've actually learned a lot about success on this very platform that I stand right now. But I've also learned a lot about success after going into cardiac arrest, laying in intensive care for several days, having to learn how to read again, and going through severe depression. I've also learned a lot about success by sitting in a chemotherapy chair and battling cancer. And I've learned a lot about success going through open heart surgery. It is the most powerful tool we have is our mind. No matter what your journey, no matter what your decision or circumstance, everything starts here. It starts with a thought process. You feed your mind what you're striving for, what you're trying to deal with, you will be shocked at how powerful that becomes. But at some point in your life, I bet you were asked, what do you want to do? What would you like to be? I was eight years old when I was first asked that. Next time I was asked, I announced proud, so I'm going to play in the National Football League. But I always would hear, put your goals down. Write them down. Put them up in your bedroom. It's where you start and end your day. As I sat and looked at I was playing the National Football League, those words pop into my head. Find a way. It inspired me to take action, do something about my circumstances. Even when I say it today, I get energized by it. Everyone is striving for success, but dealing with deadlines, challenges, and goals of the competition, pressure builds, and people can start pointing fingers, casting blame, and making excuses in their circumstances. However, when we challenge them to do their part, success becomes the standard, not just words. You make changes, you create a different plan, and then you take action. That's what successful, peaceful people do. It's how you grow, it's how you evolve. It's how we challenge ourselves, it's how we check on ourselves. When you do that, you put people in charge, and they become more productive and peaceful. The key, do you control your mind, or does your mind control you? Well, I'm asked all the time, I mean, what is find a way about? Find a way has inspired me to take action. It's helped me live a dream and fight to live and a lot of in between. They still sit on my wall today. There's not a soul sitting in this room right now that can't do that, no matter what your circumstance is. Do something about it. We are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. That's a powerful thing. You're responsible for that and you're accountable for that. Individually, we are strong. Collectively, we are powerful. That's why we're here. We learn from each other, we grow from each other. I want to thank you for allowing me to be your teammate today, and good luck to each and every one of you as you find your way. Thank you. I appreciate it.